There we go. Hey, what's up, Chantel? How are you? Hey, Chantel. How's it going? So we have some good things for you guys. Um, I think more, like, importantly, if you guys are new, if you've never seen a webinar from us, if you're just kind of getting to know who we are, uh, my name's Holly. This is my amazing husband, Chad. We are a Power of Synergy team. I think, I believe, truly believe that where my biggest strengths are um, is kind of where his biggest weaknesses are and vice versa. My biggest weaknesses is definitely where his biggest strengths are. So I love how we've come together in a synergy and a team, but you know, it wasn't always like that. We each have our individual stories of success and where we've come from and what we've done and uh, what we bring to the table. So I'm going to yeah, so first things first, if you guys are on uh, in the group, there's actually a link down in there because um, sometimes Facebook Lives, when we got Zoom going and all this other stuff, it starts crashing. So you can actually register and go on. What's up, Matt? What's up, Andreas? What's up, Jason? What's up, Jason? Hey, Jamie. Coffee, something to drink. Maybe what's up, something Ryan? Take some notes from. We're going to drop a lot of cool things on how you can really start building relationships with people and start attracting your perfect people. So cheers. Yeah. And the, the other thing is, is this is a two way street. We want in, uh, to have a conversation with you, not just, uh, speak to you. This is not TV. We, um, can, we know that so you're I have my here. coffee. We're like, let's chill, have some coffee, you know, really talk about what it is that we're creating and what it is that you're creating and what you want to attract and the people that you want to attract and how that can all really work. Yes, and when you're more engaged, the more you're going to get, the more you're going to remember. But who am I? My name is Chad Oxted, and let's see here. Um, my first year of my senior year of high school was tragic. Um, I was hanging out with some friends in a city not far from here, and we, um, it's just like before everybody was like carrying around cell phones everywhere you went, right? Uh, especially younger folks being a 17 year old, didn't have a cell phone, but the girl that I was hanging out with did, but she kept it in her car the whole time. And so we went back to her car and she was looking at her phone and she had 19 missed calls from a number she didn't recognize. My parents did not know her. They did not have any connection with her at all. Um, and she's like, do you know this number? And I'm like, yeah, that's my number. Um, my home number and she's like oh well they called 19 times i called back and it's my grandmother saying your dad has had a massive heart attack and is on his way to wind the hospital don't speed yeah and after driving 90 miles per hour to get there he had already passed away and my life went on a wild ride after that who has ever rebelled against your parents um who has ever um, had something significant happen in their life that had sent you on a path that could have went really, really, really badly, right? Um, yes. And so um, I didn't graduate high school on time. I ended up having to go to summer school and almost didn't graduate summer school because I, this is my, one of my first entrepreneurial endeavors was me bringing donuts to class every day and selling them to people in class, like two bucks each or a dollar each. I don't remember. But anyways, these thug kids, bullies were trying to steal my donuts and possibly my money. And I, I remember, um, grabbing the bottom if you remember desks like back in the day they were all heavy i grabbed the bottom leg of this kid's desk and i pulled it and flipped him over in his desk in front of everybody in class not happy and i always um, like the bad boys <laughs> yeah they sent me to the uh the principal's office and he said if you have any other things we're gonna kick you out of here and um and so i ended up graduating went to community college for um a semester two semesters, I, well, like a whole year, and uh, didn't graduate from that, dropped out of that, and didn't know what to do with my life. I was like heavily drinking, I was partying a lot, and then I caught the entrepreneurial bug. I ended up um, uh, first getting turned on to network marketing. I called thousands of, of thousands of leads. I was actually using the internet for my network marketing business where we were using it to uh, qualify, but I was still calling thousands of leads. I got extremely burnt out and I became depressed. I didn't know what to do with my life at that time. And uh, I ended up finding a mentor, finding somebody that could help my me get out of that hole. 
and um, ended up getting that help and uh, I needed to work. And so I got into door to door sales I knocked doors for uh, six years off and on and had a lot of success in that industry. But um, ultimately I knew that I could use the internet to attract clients and, uh, and, and make money and, and build a business, build the life that I really wanted. And so I ended up walking away from uh, online um, in another state and I ended up having not enough money to fly home and uh, went and lived in a hotel room and um, launched my business from a hotel room. And in the first six months, I made about $1,000. Um, and then uh, just grinding it away, like learning, like basically. Man, that's better than me. I got like, I don't know, yeah. almost like me. Yeah. We'll talk about that a little bit. <laughs> so, but that's the thing is, is um, I, but because I was just out there, like treating my business like a, like door to door. I was treating my internet business like, like door to door where I was like knocking uh, doors essentially with my internet business and I was just grinding away. And then I remember I started, I had my first four figure day, leverage that into an $8,000 a month and then a $12,000 a month. And then I started learning how to use systems and attract people. And I got, was able to make six figures in, in, in online and speak on stages but I knew there was something still missing uh, where I wanted to really not just teach people how to market and make money online, but to uh, help them have transformation in their life and in their mindset. So I actually ended up throwing uh, an event where uh, it was like um, 500 to $1,500 to come. I sold 26 spots. And then at that event, we sold uh, seven spots. Actually, we took deposits for nine people for $1,000 each for a $10,000 event in the Dominican Republic. Seven people ended up showing up and their lives never were they, they forever transformed. They transformed. Yeah. And, um, but after that, I, there was so many logistical breakdowns with that event that I did not want to do that alone ever Any again. of you guys have ever, have any of you guys done an event, you know what that put, that's, mm. uh, put in. I've also done events, so I know. Yeah. And so, so I kind of went on a journey, like not knowing what I was looking for, not knowing what I wanted, but I ended up finding one of the most amazing people that I've ever met in my life and somebody that's had uh, just wild success online and, and has worked with nine figure earners and have run uh, businesses that were doing eight figures and um, had just the amazing person. I'm ever. like, oh, shucks, I'm just me, guys. <laughs> but uh, Miss Holly uh, Oxted. Thank you. So. Yeah, whenever he says that, I am totally, I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but sometimes I totally have that reluctant hero in me. I'm like, you know, I just am who I am. And we all have our roots that we come from and the different situations that can be used for us to really become powerful in our life. Right. So I started very young, actually out on the streets. I was homeless by 16. Um, I was out there figuring it out, whatever it is that I had to do. Uh, by the time I was 18, I the, the best place, thank you, for me to go was that I ended up actually was in the entertainment industry in the club. And I was in the club and I learned, you know, one day I'm going to have a book on how uh, I was able to take my experience from being in the club and be able to radically transform that into being a very powerful person in sales and just in business and in life in general. So I knew that when I was in the club, um, I knew that I needed some changes, right? How many of you guys know, like, it's, oh, I'm totally, this is part of my story, like, part of our story, right? You have to be authentic with who you are and what you've gone through. And that's a part of me that it's who I am and what I've gone through. And I remember very specifically, I, you know, I became a mother and there was just, you know, all of this stuff. And I knew, like, I need to, like, step it up and I need to do something with my life, right? So I did what every person does when they're ready for a transformation it's what society tells us to do is to go to college right if you go to college uh you go get a job get your life together all of your problems will be solved right does this sound familiar to any of you guys uh right that's the typical this is what society tells you so i went to college i decided to you know i was mother 
I was a dancer, I was going to college, getting my degree. I knew since I was a child that I wanted to be ever since like the AOL dial tone, like the internet was a place that I wanted to be. So I went to college for marketing and e-commerce. And I actually ended up dropping out of college because I got a great opportunity to actually go in the field in marketing and e-commerce and work with local businesses, helping them establish a presence online. So I was really, really good at that. Like as soon as I got an opportunity to become an, uh, I started off in sales where I was selling like advertising on an advertising site. And I quickly really got that, uh, oh my gosh, I'm really good at this and I really love this. And so I grew myself from being a salesperson to the vice president of that company where I was helping entrepreneurs put you know their autoresponder together marketing strategies together i absolutely loved what i did it was amazing until i thought i was you know miss miss thing was going to be a cool mom one day i went to go get a drink for my like lunch for my kids to go bring them into school i ended up slipping and falling then and i hurt my hip and my life was never quite the same after i hurt my hip um, i ended up having to leave that job i dislocated my hip which then caused a lot of neurological problems that I have a very special life that I live through to this day. Uh, this happened back in 2010, so you can do the math there of how radical this transformed my life. And um, it got to a point where I was in a hospital, they were doing um, spinal blocks, neck, the ganglion neck blocks. Um, I was in the Cleveland Clinic for a while, and I remember a nurse coming in and saying, Holly, like, we're gonna have to talk about putting you on disability. And she had all the forms and all the things. And right there, I was like, there's, like, I've worked so hard <laughs> to just stop where, like, to be where I am and just, I'm just on disability. No, like, I, there's got to be something, right? And that was my journey. That was the first thing that brought me to type in how to build a business online. Because I knew that the internet was going to be the way that I saved not just myself, but at that time it was about myself and my family, right? I've been able to evolve since then and it's so much bigger than just myself and it's so much bigger than just my family at this point. But I was able to go, you know, nobody knew who I was. Uh, I was just, who, who am I, this chick that's in a hospital bed doing videos. I started doing videos. I started getting on, you know, team webinars and just getting out there and talking to people and just relaying this message, this like, I'm gonna walk again. I'm going to be in healing. I'm going to be healed of my condition and I'm going to make this dream and this vision happen. I started learning about systems online and I knew that's where I needed to be to get my health on track and I needed leverage and systems to always be working for me so I could get my life back together. Right? And that's where I really honed in and I really got like they say to master, you know, find something to hone in and master. My honing in and mastery was in sales systems and talking to people and communicating. Like people are definitely one of my things. <laughs> so I just went off and I just was learning constantly and doing videos and putting myself out there. And I was able to attract a lot of marketers. I got a lot of marketers' attentions, uh, seven, eight, going on nine figure marketers where I've gone on their teams. I've helped them create their content. My content has been featured on uh, the Grant Cardone show. Uh, we actually had Grant Cardone come in and work. I was working uh, with someone named Giancarlo Barraza the millionaire mastermind. He now does a lot of e-commerce stuff these days. Uh, but Grant Cardone came to him. He's a platinum partner and said, Hey, can you take a look at this funnel? Right. And so Johnny, you know, Giancarlo Barraza brought it to me and said, Hey, what do you think of this funnel? Like, give me some of your stuff on what you would, you would do here. And so I was over, able to consult over the whole funnel and that funnel went on, you know, a lot of the changes were implemented in the funnel that went on to do millions of dollars. So my message, my purpose in sharing this with you guys is, you know, I've done the events with like, like Chad, I've uh, just had an amazing opportunity by just putting myself out there, by being really authentic in who I was, right? How many of you know you attract your perfect people and really incredible people by your insides and your being, right? And who you are. And I've just been so blessed to be able to work, not with just Giancarlo Barraza, but with Dave Sharp and with Dee Varangia and just all of these different marketers who um, have asked me to come on board and help grow their, their empire. It's been amazing. So here I am. The most amazing thing has been partnering with this guy and what we've been able to build. Uh, we both started in the home business industry and in affiliate marketing. Um, and we both have had our own successes individually. I've had some little pitfalls in the home business space myself with payment processors and all of this stuff. It really got to a point for me where um, 
I went through some changes in my business and literally my first, like my first big month on my own, I was actually in my car at the time. I had just become like in a situation living where I was car. homeless. Yes. Living in my car. Mm -hmm. um, I made $20,000 in my, in, in my program that I was promoting at that time, uh, $20,000 living in my car and my payment processor got like a high risk thing. Like, er, er, froze all of my money and boom, here I am living in my car. All of my money is frozen in my merchant account. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what now, right? And it just so happened to be at that what now, I mean, you know, you just keep walking in faith and everything is always working out for your good. And the what now was this guy. And we partnered together and we, created an agency, right? It all started with Facebook ads and getting leads for actually a solar company. We just followed their flow, right? And we started getting leads for a solar company. And then we got leads for a gutter cleaner and then leads for construction and then a, um, different projects for all sorts of different people. And we knew that we were onto something. So we got very, very good at getting clients. Um, I would say high paying clients. We started doing not just Facebook ads for them, but our whole systems, the funnels, the copy, the systems, the marketing, the whole shebang, right? And we were just getting all sorts of clients in all sorts of different industries. And there was a lesson there. And the lesson was, do you want to share a lesson? Do you want me to share a lesson? You can go. So the lesson there was the fastest way to get rich and be miserable is to work with everybody. And I got so bored, to be honest with you, like great people love every single person we have ever worked with that is not in our niche now because they are an amazing people. However, super boring to put together construction funnels, like not my thing, it was really, really boring. So mm. we had the opportunity, we created a process where I was literally going insane. Like I did not come this far to go be like, have, make, create a job for myself is essentially what we did is we created a job for ourselves. And I was like, uh, -uh I am not having this. And guys, how do you, how many of you know, like, got to keep your wife happy when your wife happy, everyone's happy or something like that. <laughs> so, so Chad came up with this, he's got a whiteboard in his room. He's like, all right, who is the perfect people that we want to work with? And we created, hence our training, if you guys have seen it, the perfect triangle, that's where that was born. And we got really clear that the people that we wanted to work with are out there making an impact with people. We actually went to a um, to an event in San Diego. I'm like thinking, we went to an event in San Diego and we met up with a couple of our clients. They were the consultants, they were publicists, like they were out, they were leaders. Uh, actually, Jason is on here. We met Jason there. This this event transformed me because the whole message it was Steve Farber's uh, leadership ex uh, event, and the, his message was do what you love in the service of people who love what you do. And I'm like. How, what would that look like? Like to do the things that I love to do in the service of people who love what I do, what would that look like? And then I saw it. I saw my clients out there. They were like networking with other people. And I got really clear that when people work with those, with those clients, like their lives are getting transformed, right? When people work with Jason, their lives are being transformed. When people are working you know, with Debbie, lives are being transformed. And I got really clear, like, I want to work with the people who, when we help them get results, other people's lives are being transformed. That's what I want. And that's what we did. And that's exactly why we are so specific in working with the people who are out there to make an impact in this world. Because I know that we have gifts. We've been around. We've learned this industry. Like, we know the ups and downs. And now it's your turn, right? It's your turn to be able to attract those perfect people and do what it is that lights you up because you have lives that you're out to make an impact for. And I'm a stand for you and I'm a stand for those lives too. So that's a little bit about me and what, we do, what we're doing. So what's different about this webinar? I think you've already kind of got it. Here we are. <laughs> No slides. No slides. Doesn't she look better with no slides? Yes. Slides <laughs> are, uh, we've started doing a, like, I think so many people get on all of the slides and presentations and all that stuff, and it's just not necessary. People just want to know you and who you are and your story and then how you can help them, right? So let's get into that, uh, how we can help you, because this is about you. Great about us. High fives all around. But what about you? What is it that you're up to? What is it that you're doing and how can we help you? Yeah, so there's a chat box if you guys haven't figured it out. So on Facebook, obviously, leave a comment. That's easy. Um, but if you are on Zoom, 
um, there's a thing at the bottom, it says chat, and it should pop over this thing, I, I think I'm a viewing thing, and you can actually say, interact with us. There's a bunch of people on here. We'll, uh, you know, so we got, uh, we got a bunch of people. We got, I, I'm Chantel, Ahmed, Brian, Chris, what's up, Denisa. Denisa. Hey, Jack. Jack. How's it what going? up, Jack? Hey, Jack Peter. Uh, is doing amazing. So uh, just to shout out Jack. So Jack, when he first started working with us, he was kind of like in a hibernation mode, hadn't done much business in a while. And going through our program, he was able to start getting it back out there and started using the internet to attract clients and use it and putting together these um, events that he does that are, he works with holistic like chiropractors, um, acupuncturists, that type of thing. And so he was able to start putting together these like kind of meet and greet type things where he's uh, brings on his current clients and interviews them. And he has his partner, Rob, and he's amazing. And so he kind of went from like, was in the like wasn't doing much especially online to really being able to get out there and I, I don't know the current results of all that because it's been a little bit since we've chatted but uh, i'd love to hear him jack so if you got uh, any things that's popped up in the last while i'd love to hear it so chris says planning to have more events releasing my book be the expert march 1st that's awesome congrats i know that's a big high deal like high five to anyone who's written a book or is putting a book together uh, I know that that's a big deal. So, so. Pete, what do you do? Um, let us know. But um, So let's get into secret one as we're hearing, because I know there's kind of a, as all you guys are sharing what it is that you do, uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes too. So we want to help you guys be able to turn your client magnet, like turn your client magnet on, right? The, the, the client magnet machine, like, er, how is it that some people can just continually put stuff out there and put stuff out there and it either works really well or it is not working whatsoever mm -hmm. and you're just continuing to like do do it do and do and do and do not you do, do. That. yeah i know yeah. you did and never really attaining any results right it's the the attraction factor so how do you turn that attraction factor on yes so obviously we talked about a part of this right is getting really clear on who you work with a lot of people um are out there they're just slinging their 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 stuff right they're like reaching out and they're pitching their stuff or buy my stuff Woo, buy my stuff um or they're putting out content but maybe they even got to the point where they're like yes i know i need to put content out boom gonna put content out but and then they put it out in those crickets yeah crickets or like Don't you cares. attract all the wrong people who's ever felt like you are attracting people that don't have the money to work with you mm, yeah that's a big one yeah Yep. And so, or a bunch of people from another country. Yes, and so like you get like you get the, or the infamous picks, which I've never gotten by the way. The DP. I've never gotten a DP ever, ever. So apparently that's not in my attraction factor to get. So uh, which is okay. I'm okay with it. Ontological I'm life, life coach. and business coach. Currently slowly, slowly building up organically, but looking to start newsletters to my 5,000 LinkedIn contacts. That's awesome. I've been increasing my articles, trying to be careful about content, getting the people who are serious payers and can pay. Exactly. So it, this is all about like, how is it that you can attract those serious players, right? Exactly. And ultimately how you do that is by having super duper clarity on exactly that is mm -hmm. um, it's really important go ahead. yeah so go on this for a while. getting really clear on who that perfect person I know we we beat this in and beat this in but this is just so important a lot of you have seen other trainings of us and still have not taken this seriously um, and this is just a, a part of it and we're gonna get into more don't worry but it's like getting really clear on your perfect person getting really clear on who that is what um, what are their biggest challenges why are they not hiring you yet? Like, so if you're getting on calls. Yeah, that's a good point. So it's not just who are they, what about them? Mm -hmm. Like, what are they, what are their struggles? What are their goals in their life? What are their short-term challenges that they're having? Mm -hmm. Like, what are the objections that they're having? Of, like, why aren't they joining you or anybody else? Like, what is it that are, they're really, really going through? Yeah. So who knows? Drop it below. Who do you know? Like, what is your perfect person? Let us know in the comments so we know who 
who your perfect person is, even if you're kind of vague right now, and maybe we can help with uh, clarifying it. So anyways, and so the other thing, so one of the things we teach um, our clients and we help them through their process is, is surveying the clients. I mean, you guys have seen our uh, launch course in five days. We take you through that process and, um, and teach that. So getting really clear on what all those problems are so that you can use that in your messaging to do that. Best way to find out what your people's problems are it's not ask, ask them. them. Whoa, what a concept. I actually had someone message me the other day and they're like, Hey, I'm doing a law of attraction project. Uh, would you be like, do you have a few minutes that you could answer some questions? And I knew like, oh, this is so important for his project. Absolutely. I'll take a few, few minutes for you. Right. And it's be, it's not if you go to someone and you're like, uh, hey, answer these questions. They're gonna be like, I don't know, who are you? But if you just have like build a relationship with people, mm -hmm. say, hey, I'm looking to do some research for a project that I'm working on. Like, no sales pitch or anything. Could you? Would you? Do you have just a few minutes to answer a few questions? And it is so powerful to have these responses because as you're creating everything, you can literally, when you're using the languaging of your pro, like your perfect people and what their problems are. That, my friends, is how you're going to get them to be like, they get me. Like, they know what my problems are. Like, when, and when people can relate to you and they feel like you're the person that really gets them, then they're going to be like, these are the people I need to work with. Yes. Yeah. And so the big thing is we did this with this, this training. We did a, uh, a survey in the group and what's up, uh, Christina? How are you? You made it. Yay. Yay. Christina's my girl. And so, um. We did this with this. We actually gave out a few options of like what we could have been talking about, what we could have trained on, and we used the survey results. And we got rid of one of them completely. Um, so, Chris, my ideal client is an entrepreneur that is ready to take the leap into an expertise and freedom. We work on ways they can stand out in the market and create income streams. Awesome. Perfect. Very cool. Awesome. Um, it's good to have that super clear. It sounds like you're really like really pinned on that. So clarity makes all the difference, guys. I'm telling you. One thing I will say is, like, remember you were just talking about he reached out to you. I would have asked him, hey, who is your perfect person? Because I'm, I mean, you're very advanced in law of attraction and, and mindset and different stuff. He might've been, his client could have been somebody that's a beginner, mm -hmm. right? And that's you could have been giving him a bunch of completely, um, so before you ask points. a bunch of for data, make sure that they are your perfect people exactly. and data from like even two or three of your absolute perfect people is better than like 20 or 40 responses from people who are not the people that you want to work with. Yeah. So <laughs> our client, Sebastian, um, used this and he rocked it, right? Sorry guys, I'm super hot. So I'm yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so he, so the way he did it, we, we taught him uh, to go survey his perfect people. His perfect people were um, uh, dads that wanted to be heroes for their kids. And um, and so he surveyed them, and he, uh, he filtered them into a group, and he built this, like, community. So he had, like, 30 people, like, boom, that just answered all these questions. They got into this community, this group. And then when he went to go launch, he didn't even launch this group. He was just kind of hinting at it. He was doing the content strategy that we're going to teach you in this training if you stick around um, and so he was doing the stuff in his community and before he even launched his event um, and his program or whatever he had people reaching out to him with his with their credit card wanting to join wanting to pay him wanting to give him money and he and this was because he got really clear on what they needed he took that to create content in the community. And then um, there's one other thing, and we'll talk about that in a minute, um, is, is the, um, that's a really thing that you want to take a look at. Um, but, um, but yeah, so he, he uses, and then he was having people like beg him to join his program before it even launched. He didn't even put anything out there. Yeah, and the reason that he was able to do that is because of the data that he collected. It was it's a $4,000 event too, by the way. Yeah. And by doing this, like he went in thinking that his program was going to be something completely different guys. Mm -hmm. Like he had it in his mind that he wanted to be a hero for a kid, like for his kids and be dads. And so he was asking all these dads for information. Mm -hmm. And what he got was that 
what he thought his people needed were not actually what they really needed. Mm-hmm. And he was able then to take the data that he had and get really clear and be able to give them exactly what they needed. And when you can deliver that, I think this is also really important, which we haven't included in our other trainings and what I want to share with you guys, is if you can add, not only are you finding out what, like who your perfect person is, finding out everything that you can about them, their objections, their, um, what they're going through, their challenges, their goals, their visions, you know, what's stopping them, and being able to create content on top of all of that. But there's one more thing that you need that I've found that you can add that will make all the difference in the world. And that's truly being you mm-hmm. and letting you shine. And if you're a little silly, let your silliness shine. And if you like that polar, the biggest thing that I really had a challenge with for a long time, and I'm going to be authentic here, is that polarizing of really being your authentic self. And when I took a stand for myself and I was like, you know what, if people don't like me, fine. If people think I'm weird, cool, uh, I'm just going to shine me. I'm going to shine me bright. And it was that. And I promise you, it's that in you to shine yourself bright where every message that you're speaking as you're making the videos, overcoming objections, that your intention, like the energy behind your intention of everything that you do is for your perfect people's highest good and their results. Like it naturally starts like energetically attracting those people to you because you believe it with all of your heart and you believe it with everything that you are and you are just shine yourself that is the attraction factor and that will make the difference between your content that you're putting out that's dead and getting crickets to the same content that you're putting out with the intention and your personality and your authenticity behind it that's really going to start attracting people to you so i wanted to share that with you that's not something i typically it's been um chantel chantel heart-centered spiritual growing people looking for help and advice with releasing limiting beliefs living their best life and finding their true happiness, being genuinely in line with their purpose. It's so true. Happiness does come from being you. That is why I think you guys are so awesome. Thank you. Yep. And you know what? The number one, because we ask everyone, like, why? Why us and why now, right? (laughs) And we hear, like, because we're us. That's it. So for you, how do you get more clients? You just be you, right? And people will be attracted to who you are. And when you really shine that with people, you're perfect people and you come that solution. That's how you turn that, that attraction factor on. Yeah. Um, so one of our clients, Nia, used this. Um, it, it well, actually, this is the thing that I was kind of hinting at is not only do you need to know like what their biggest problems are and all the things that we teach in our surveying process, but one of the things that you need to know is why what is their limiting beliefs from hiring you? What's the things that they have in their mind that is keeping them from, uh, from like joining you or like hiring you as a coach or buying your product or whatever you got going on, right? And so, example, a lot of, and a lot of people that we work with have, the, have it in their head that they can't attract clients in line because they need to be technical or they feel that they need to um, uh, have had a bunch of business experience and that they couldn't have a success. So um, actually, uh, so one of our clients, Nia. Speaking of Nia. Yep. And so. Nia sent me a shirt too. Yes. And so sent us both shirts and because we changed her life, as you can see, I don't know if you can read this as a backwards. Um, so I made a difference in Nia's life. Yes. And mine's pink. And unless I have a tan, it's like kind of, I want to make sure that I can, you guys can see me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you blend into the right. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. <laughs> it's like a naked shirt. <laughs> a naked. Um, so yeah. So anyway, so you, if you find out, what these objections, this is something she did really amazing is Mm -hmm. she found out what the people's objections were for writing grants. Um, So she is a grant writer and she's like, why aren't more people trying to get grants or nonprofits and like are perfect people, all this stuff. Like why are they not getting more written or why, why wouldn't they hire a grant writer? And so she wrote down all the reasons why. And then she started creating content to overcome those objections. Example, for us, right? One of our objections is, is some of the people are, they believe that they need to be business-like 
like got the MBA from Harvard to like have success on the internet to track clients. So Nia actually was, uh, uh, she was married to a guy with two young kids. Uh, she, they had, she had two young kids. She had never had a business in her life. She had wrote grants for a business, like working as a job and wrote millions of dollars out of the grants, but didn't believe that she could have her own business, that she could have her own success, that she could do it on her own, right? And when she met us, she was like, what? she came to us looking f to see if she could write something for us, like do some sort of content or something. I don't know what the hell she was wanting, <laughs> but we were like, wait, yeah, you, you've sure given you grants. Yeah, good, good job <laughs> on reaching out. But um, in the sense at, what have you done in the past? Well, I wrote grants, millions of dollars, blah, blah, blah. Wow, you wrote grants of millions of dollars. Could you do that for other people? Well, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. So you should be a grant writer and write grants for nonprofits and businesses to get money for their business. It's like, well, I've never done that as a business before. Well, could you do it? Well, yeah, of course. Okay, great. You're a grant writer now. Congratulations. <laughs> and so we deemed her grant writer and she actually went out and signed three contracts uh, with three different people doing grants for them. And she, it, that was in her first week. And then by the end of us working with each other, or us working with her, she maxed out her uh, program and tripled her prices for grants. Now some of her grants could pay up to $100,000 each. That's what happened. Her pay her, not the client. <laughs> not pay the her. Client. Yeah, pay her a hundred thousand dollars each. Yeah. Um. So some of our other clients that um. So are some of the other objections for people that want tech skills are a big skills. thing that I hear. Like a lot of people, are like I'm getting stuck at my funnel part or the system part, and maybe once I get all my funnels and everything uh, all done, then I can go and launch. And we yeah. hear that a lot, and I'm like. No, you absolutely do not need tech skills. You do not need anything. Amber is a great example of uh, someone who does not need or have any technical skills whatsoever. I think actually a good majority of our clients have had success without, Jack. right? Jack is another great example, without their funnels and everything all together. Because it's just, it's something that people believe they have to have where it's important and it like is good to build as you go, it is not an absolute necessity. And Amber was able to prove that. So Amber was an offline coach. She was a, a meditation and health nutrition integrative coach, a life coach and nutrition coach. And she had everything online or offline, excuse me. She was going through a lot of life transformations where she wanted to be nomadic. She wanted to have her business online. Um, she had sold her house. She had just ended a, a relationship and new beginnings, right? And so we started working with her. She literally, at first going online and the whole transition, lost a lot of her clients. And do you want to um, finish the story, you tell it, Bailey? Yeah, Bailey? sure. So she was, she sold her house and she went nomadic. She was going through a breakup and the whole deal and um, lost half, like most of her, like 90% or 80% of her clients. and because she didn't know how to facilitate on she didn't know how to do this the zoom situation right and she came end up finding us and uh buying her course getting into her coaching and she ended up getting really clear on who are perfect people in her messaging and we gave her a strategy to create a community and to overcome objections and do all the stuff that we're teaching you on this webinar and she went out and signed uh, six clients oh and we doubled her prices she was charging $17,000 for the year, and we took her up to 33000 because we knew if you use the internet, you can uh, charge more because you can target in on people with more um, funds to work with. You're perfect people, right? You're the profit part of the people, perfect people. And so she ended up signing six contracts worth $138,000 $600 in six weeks of working with us in our program to the point where she had so many clients coming at her that she kind of had to take a break um, <laughs> and, uh, and didn't want to take any more clients on. So we had to figure out how to uh, automate her system. But the, the big thing is that she never had a funnel. She never had a funnel. She never had anything. She never had a funnel. 
she never she just got really clear on the messaging she got really clear on her um uh, her message or her uh, foundations who her perfect people were got really good at doing content and overcome objections she got really really good at the phone call of um, enrolling people and bringing people through the sales process she and she's just really good at shining her authentic self she's that. a very powerful woman and it's when you can really be authentic in yourself and build relationships with people and use all of this in the foundations and through the process gold like game on you too you know we don't guarantee anything however the possibility is there for you guys to be able to do big things right even if you don't have your course created yet which is the second thing we want to go over and share with you guys is how can you make six figures or more with a high ticket offer that you do not have created yet right so a big misconception is I have to have it all together right mm -hmm. I gotta have all the technical stuff I gotta put everything all together and then I can do this mm -hmm. right that's what I, I hear a lot and maybe you guys would raise your hand if this is something that you've experienced yourself um, so I want to share a story with you guys. When I was able to work with Giancarlo Barraza at the Millionaire Mastermind, he taught me so much. And one of the most important things that he taught me, I actually I was just talking to him on Facebook earlier today uh, on one of his posts was imperfect action will make you rich. Right. And he would always tell me all the time, it's imperfect action, 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 right? Giancarlo Barraza is going on the nine figure earner right now. So talk about action and imperfect action. This guy moves. And when I were, I was his direct, like right hand, when he moved, he said, Holly, I need a course. We're putting something together. I need it done by tomorrow. Right. That means webinar, pay, like everything set to go and launch tomorrow. Right. So literally what you guys might hear me joke around when I say I make courses for breakfast, like I've legit made courses for breakfast. Right. And so I knew at that time, like that's what conditioned me to start when I was creating courses. I didn't have a lot of time. I was working with someone who was like, I need it and I need it now. Don't worry about making it perfect. I just like now. Right. And so what it allowed me to do was just to take quick action. And that's what that muscle that I started doing was quick action, quick action. I've seen time and time and again where marketers would launch something and they would not have it created yet. And I'm like, I actually went to a few, uh, and it wasn't just Giancarlo. It was, I went to actually an event and another marketer uh, was telling me, and Bob Beckett was his name at the time, and he was, or at the time, his name still like, <laughs> um, but he was telling me that like a lot of marketers, they, they take these things and they launch and they don't have it all together yet. And I was like, what a fascinating concept. Um, and I got to experience it working with Johnny that, that what the, you didn't have to have it all together. Right. In fact, when you don't have it together, that will get your shit together real quick. Right. When you don't have it together and then people buy it, like time to get moving. Right. If you never ever needed some accountability, it's having your course sold out and it's not even created yet. Like you are on fire. Shit will get created real quick. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, Tell us about, you've had some experience, you know, we've had our experience with ourselves on how we've oh, launched yeah. courses. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, how we've launched courses without even creating it and the success we've had. Uh, we actually launched a course. We took $152, and as we ran it, we launched a beta course. That course went on to do over $18,000 in prop, was it profit or uh, revenue? Revenue, yeah. Revenue, excuse me. I, it actually ended up being more than that, but now that you think about it, because some of those people were in a payment plan. And they end up paying more. So I was thinking about that the other day. Mm, yeah, okay. like Amber didn't, you know, anyways. So moving on. Uh, <laughs> this is the thing. So isn't this amazing? And I just want to point out what we're doing in this training, right? We're doing what we're teaching, right? We're telling stories that overcome objections. This is what we do, and we're teaching you what it's doing. So I just want to be like the whole- Be like, super aware of, of the teaching in between the teaching. Yes, exactly. And so 
I'm so I'm at an event, right? I, I, I told you guys I threw an event. It was like five hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars to be there. They got the it was a mastermind. We had two houses, um, and we did this event. I brought in all these like six and seven figure earner trainers and all kinds of stuff, and um, we taught on all kinds of cool stuff. I, 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 one day I'll post the training that I did from there, and it'll be really cool. I'm excited. Um, but halfway through the training. But um, I'm sitting there and going, huh, this is going really well. People love this. But we should totally offer something at that, like at, during this, like like day two. I'm like sitting there, I'm going, like, what could we, what we could we offer them, like that would be really valuable? And like, what about a retreat, like a, you know, something in like a, a tropical location? How do we create an offer that? Um, they create so much value that um, that they would be willing to pay like, I don't know, like 10K or something like that. And my friend Ken looks at me and goes, wow, that's freaking crazy, dude. Like, we're really halfway through this <laughs> thing. Like, you're going to hit something. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is like, let's do it. All right. Like, I don't know how to put together slides for this. Could um, Julie, like, it's funny. Now they're, like, dating and, like, have a kid and stuff, but, like, they just met. And we're like, I know she likes you. You think she'll put together some slides <laughs> for you? <laughs> for you and us? Like, hey, like, put together these slides. Like, see if you put together these slides for us. So she puts together these slides, and then one of the other speakers was about to go up, and I'm like, hey, would you like to do, a, a like, a, a retreat with us we're about to we, we have this idea of pitching this retreat and he's like yeah it sounds awesome let's do it and i'm like eh, okay cool will you will you pitch it for us <laughs> he's like hell yeah and it's like a multiple seven figure earner and he's like i'm oh, sure and so he ends up pitching our ten thousand dollar package with uh, with this and he, he comes in and he talks about, and I got one of the other ones to donate his training that he does. He charges like $3,000 for. And then I went to another one that was training there. And I'm like, could you build these people sales funnels? And we could kind of create this whole package. Um, so they're set up with the mindset stuff from this. And, uh, you know, I got, this. so you created a whole offer for them. Yeah. Which I didn't even know what the hell an offer was back then. Perfect. And so I created this thing and we pitched it for $10,000 and we, we had seven, no, nine people out of 26 put down a thousand dollar deposit for that event. And, and, and seven, again, seven showed up, which is just so mind blowing that kind of percentage to go to put deposits down for a $10,000 event is just bonkers. That you just created. That I just created. And we literally, Did you guys catch that? We had, um, freaking, um, um, I, I had, what's it called? Um, I had Ken's like person that he's talking to at the time, my friend, like put together the slides on the fly and we didn't even know where the hell it was going to be. We, we were originally going to be in the Turks and Caicos and uh, then we ended up being in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so I think people put a lot of pressure on like, I have to have everything done when ultimately you just need to have the offer done. Like mm -hmm. what can you pr put and package together and then go and offer it to people. Yeah. It's that simple, right? So that's exactly what we did. We sat down, like literally to the whiteboard, put down everything. And guys, this isn't our launch challenge. If you don't have it yet, then reach out to us. If you haven't gone through it, we're, we, te we teach this as well. We've done it ourselves, where we just went through everything that we could possibly put together in an offer, create the offer, and then just go out there, right? And then you start tweaking and optimizing as you go. But it's that taking that first jump and that first, like, whether it's like a beta course or, you know, you're a beta workshop or a live workshop, just go out there and perfect it in the process. Don't perfect it as before you get going. Yeah. So when we started, when we first launched our first course, we did not have it to get like put together. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -mm. Now, now we have it all together and every time we have it together, we're always optimizing it right? and adding more and adding more. So there's always people that have worked with us like three months ago. The benefit has been they get to see all of the optimizations and have gotten access to all the optimizations. Who's getting value, who's getting value from this? I, I need a confirmation that this um, is really, I did the process completely backwards. 
this is very valuable. Okay, uh, I have the offer and stuff ready now. I even have a live events. I need to more uh, people my closing percent. That's awesome. That's a great. Closing. You need to probably up your rates, bro. Just for the record, mm -hmm. if you're closing that percentage, yeah. Um, <laughs> just a tip. Um, but uh, but yeah, who else is getting value from this? Um, so right. we know what's up, and and that you guys appreciate it. I just want to know, like, who's getting value? Yeah, totally. So um, awesome. Thank you, Chantel. Thank you, Chris. Cool, appreciate it. So Nia was another example. She didn't have her thing mm -hmm. all together. Or her like, oh. Like, literally one day, she's like, oh, I'm a grant writer. And then the next day, she's like, okay. Like, she literally could see her up at night uh, going through the objections and all the different things that people were going through and ideas for different content. That woman had her community up and started getting content in, like, and filling it up immediately. And people just responded. And it's, like, that's it. And when you shine yourself, she's just a sweetheart. Like, she's, as soon as you see her, she's just got, like, amazingness all like, just all around her <laughs> so um, yeah totally so the third thing is being able to do all of this and put quantum leaps like we want to help you be able to take your quant like quantum leap struggles and um and take any of the guessing out right no guessing and jumping over everything so this is like about we're looking at notes we're cheating yeah we're totally cheating we were doing really good like here and then we just like I know. broke it like oh Ow. cheat factor i got my laptop here <laughs> we have like about a page not even a page of notes <laughs> yeah, no. <It> just like <laughs> little pinpoints of what we want how could you i know it I know it. But ultimately, guys, this third thing that we want to share with you guys to be able to attract the people in that's really going to give you the quantum leap that you guys are looking like. How do you go from maybe you're getting zero, like no to maybe one client every month or maybe every three months or however many to like lightning speed client to three clients a week or to whatever, yeah, whatever number, whatever would be transformational works. for you? How can you do that? Right. And I know for me, so what we were laughing about earlier, like your first month, you made like a thousand uh -huh. high five, six months, six, six months. months. Yeah. Okay. So when I first, I had this like grand or like scheme of things, I was going to be this blogger and I was going to be a mom blogger and I was going to like put out coupons and be like all oh, mom. Like this was years. This was probably, this was, this was before I became like official, like really took my business as a business type thing. My first year in affiliate marketing, I made, I want to say maybe hundred dollars. That was it. And then the second year I didn't do too hot either, but I had to go through all the things I had to go through and I had a ton of lessons. Like how many of you guys know that success is like a staircase. My mentor has shared this with me and it's been, it's lasted for me for years is that you have to stop, start at step one and you keep moving up the staircase. You can't go from step one to step 10, right? You may be able to skip a step couple because you're awesome. However, I hire a coach. I'm getting there. I'm sorry. That's okay. However, you still have to go up the stairwell, right? We all have a journey. So ultimately what happened for me is the first two years, I was just like, I finally got sick of it, right? You can only fail for so long before you're like, what do I have to do? I'm serious about this. Like, I need this to work more than I can breathe. I do not have time to keep failing and not getting the results. I got like my life and my family and like everybody and everything. Like I need this to work now. Right. And that was the moment when I realized I couldn't do it on my own. I just couldn't. So I literally, here I was a mom. I had $37 in my bank account. I was just separating uh, from a relationship at the time. I had no idea how I was going to pay, for, like have my house or feed my kids or I had no idea of any of it, right? I know that I have faith like a mofo and <laughs> a drive and a determination like that. I, you know, I am a champion and a warrior, man. I always get up and figure it out and I am resourceful for the things that I want. And I know that every single one of you guys are like that too. When there's something that you really, really want, you will be resourceful and find a way. I promise you. Uh, I promise you, you have it in you. So that's exactly what I did. I, I got an opportunity to be able to work with someone that I truly believed was going to be the person that was going to allow me to have the breakthroughs that I needed to really be successful, to have the opportunity and the mentorship of someone to help me. And 
I'm telling you, I did not have the funds to do it. I did not. I had $37 in my bank account. In fact, I was going to the food bank to get food to feed my kids, right? It was like that. But I knew that if I made this investment and I figured it out somehow, some way, that was going to make all the difference in the world for me. And that's exactly what I did. I literally went from business to business, like it was back in my old school days, and I went and I talked to business owners to see if there was anything that I could do for hire. I even got down to where I asked, like, your toilets need clean, like whatever it is that you need, this is what, and I told them why, like this is what I'm out to accomplish. Um, and I know that I need the mentorship, so I'm going from business to business to see if there's anything that I can do to help you guys to be able to invest in myself and my business. And you know what? Humbling down to, like, I'm about to cry. Those people saw my passion in me and they said, absolutely. And I did work for local businesses in the area to come up with the money that I needed to invest in myself and my mentorship. That was my first six figure year was when I, I made the leap. <laughs> and invested in someone because I knew at this point I couldn't do it on my own. People didn't understand me. My family is like, what are you doing? I'm like, I know you might as may not be able to see it now, but I promise you, you guys will see it. This is all for you. Right. And I still stand by that. It is always for, for them and my family. Um, I'm sure that's for you guys too, the people that you love. That's why you're watching this right now is how do I make this work for the people that I love? Right? And I'm telling you that by doing it on your own and thinking that you can just figure it all out, I know it took me years with that mentality. I was, I was stuck. I was struggling. I was like crying at night and listening to trainings, not getting any sleep, like doing videos, exhausting myself until I really had the mentorship and I invested in myself. I'm telling that was the year that transformed everything. And I have made six figures or multiple since that first investment so mm -hmm. wow yeah so mine was I'm sitting there so right that four figure day right that I was talking about I didn't come easily uh the first six months made about a thousand dollars in in my business and I remember one day I had a a girl come to me and she said, you know, Chad, do you have all the products? Are you all in, right, in your business? Which meant, you know, we, there was um, four or five different courses that you could get. The highest one being 3,500, one being 1,000, one being 500. And I had all the way up to $1,000 level. And you couldn't make money off of the, the products if you didn't know it. So she's like, uh, do you have the money? She's like, I'm cashing in my 401k. I'm coming up with the money and I'm going all in. And I'm like, uh, I don't have the top one. And she's like, can you come up with the money? And she's like, uh, and I'm like, yeah, I'll figure it out. And that is the biggest thing. When you have the mindset of I will figure it out. And this is something that, it, it, let me be, um, just more transparent here is when you have stories like this, when you've come up with money because you, you know, um, somebody was saying earlier, like finding people that, that have the money. Well, sometimes it's finding people that are willing to come up with the money Yeah, Go ahead, and sorry. telling the stories to get them to f turn on the switch to become resourceful, to come up with the money. And when you can tell stories of the time that you came up with the money, then people will find the money to invest in themselves and invest in your program, your coaching, your whatever. And so sometimes you have to invest in a, like a mentor, into a coach, into something because of coming up with that money, finding the money. Because when you can, I don't think sometimes I think I, you all, always do. Because it's like I think even looking now that's our biggest like investment that we we do to this day is back into ourselves uh -huh. into the events and things that we do so, absolutely um go ahead so anyway so learning these stories so i so yeah so she she gave me like three or four days and i'm like i don't know how i'm gonna do this but we'll figure it out and having the mindset of we have figured it out is important so i started selling everything i had i put my car in craigslist i put my um my um 
you know, sold everything I had, CDs, DVDs, uh, TVs, everything that I had, I sold. And I came up and I, and then I borrowed $1,500 from my grandmother. Um, and I love them. yeah, she's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had about $2,300 and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to come up with the rest of this money. And I, I actually took, nobody was calling on the car and I started driving it around to dealership to dealership and nobody wanted to give me what it was worth. They thought that I was just trying to get rid of the payment. And so I finally got like smart and I came to one dealership and I'm like, Hey, I know this car needs a new front end. I know it needs new tires. I know it needs blah, blah, blah. They're like, I have a friend that can do all this stuff for super cheap and he can come this weekend and do the work, but I need this money now to do, to, to, um, to go start my business. And so they gave me the money and I thought it was like right on the amount, right? The, the, it should have been right on the point on the amount. And so he, I went and threw it in my bank and I was a hundred dollars shy. And so I was like, okay. So I hit her, I, I messaged her back. I was like, Hey, I almost got it. I just need another hundred bucks, which I'll get on Monday. Can you give me a little bit? She's like, sure. That's cool. Completely. And she's, I, so I go back to the thing on Monday and I'm like, Hey, um, I'm here to pick up the rest of my money. And they're like, Oh, <laughs> your guy never came, showed. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, your guy never showed up. And I'm like, okay, well, where's my car? And they're like, we already sold it. And I'm like, are you what? And so I'm like, I'm like lost. I, I'm like, I don't, what do I do now type deal? And so the one thing I didn't sell was a watch <clears throat> and it was a Breitling watch. Uh, and uh, if anybody knows anything about watches, they're really nice watches. So I took it into a pawn shop and I was like, hey, I'm gonna get rid of this watch. How much can you give it for me? And he's like, is it real? And I'm like, I don't know. Because the way I, uh, the reason I got it, I got it from a mentor in the door to door industry. He owed me like 200 bucks. And I was just joking with him. I'm like, hey, could you give me, in, or instead of giving me the money, just give me the watch. And she, he's like, sure. And he took it off and he handed me, I'm like, uh, okay. So I had it for like two or three years from then and I loved it. It was amazing. And I took it in there and then the, the owner comes in and he's looking at it with a magnifying glass and he's like, you know, sorry, it's, it's, it's a really high end fake. It's, wow. it's not, it's not real. And I'm like, ah, oh. he's like, we can't buy it. What's up, Raquel? What's up, Jamie? What's up, Gregory? What's up, David? And he's like, and so that guy leaves and the original guy goes, you know, I can't, can't buy this as a store, but I really like this watch. I'll buy it from you for a hundred bucks. And I'm like, would you do 150? Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to use saying that too. I know, right? I totally did too. And he's yeah. like, no, hundred only. And I'm like, okay. So I took it, gave it to him, took the hundred bucks, three in the bank. And I went and bought the package. Next day I had a $4,150 a day, uh, leveraged into $8,000. And I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars from that story and it will be millions and millions and millions of dollars from that story because it creates resourcefulness in people and so when you can learn stories that create resourcefulness in people you can help your clients find the money to invest in your program you're pretty amazing thank you you're welcome so ultimately guys the reason for sharing like all of that so something if you've been in a place of your business and you're like how do i make that quantum shift right well for one it starts in you right there's nothing that chad or i like ultimately number one is it's your decision and your intention of i need a quantum transformation in my life i need to I like to call it pivoting. Um, pivoting is something when if your thought patterns is struggle, uh, not getting the success that I want, not making an, the money that I want, all of these things that aren't happening. Pivoting is when we can just be super aware of our thoughts and what we're experiencing and be like, you know what? This isn't what I want. What do I want? And we can start shifting our thought patterns into what it is exactly that we want. Um, and then once we start making that pivot, 
your thoughts are powerful, right? I mean, that could be a whole webinar in itself of how you can create with your thoughts, but it's that initial pivot. And from there, it's okay. Now, who are the people that can help me get to where I need? We were never created to do things on our own. Right. And I truly believe that's why Chad and I do so well together. Yeah. We've had success on our own, right? We can do it on our own. Sure. And we work well together. Right. And for you, sure. You can do, figure this all out and do put everything all together and figure it out on your own. Or that quantum leap is to partner with people who care and can help you climb up to where it is that you're looking to go. So I want to invite you guys to have a conversation, right? We're not here to sell anything for you guys or buy our stuff. What we are here for is for you and your transformation. And we want to open up, we've opened up our calendar to take on some spots, to get on the phone with you guys, to see where it is exactly that you are, and then how we can empower you through that. Yes. So this is the thing is, is I remember when I was watching something like this and I decided to get on a call with one of my mentors, I actually had to put a $500 deposit down on just getting on the phone with him. Yeah. Like it was, it was crazy because uh, like that time I didn't really have all the money. And, um, and I actually, I've never told this story. I, I forgot about this, but I'm listening to something just like this. And, and he said, and I, I'm opening out my calendar to get on the phone with, um, with somebody, with, with you, right? And in this one call, just the call could completely transform your life because it could point out some things that are not working or working in your business and your life. And you could, you could be a completely different person after this call. And I put down a $500 deposit to just get on the call. And if, if, if I chose to um, come to the event that I ended up coming to, um, then the money would get put towards us. And if I didn't, I got the money back. Um, and I went to that event. I actually, <laughs> I had to find the money again for this event, right? It was $5,000. I had to come You're up. You're amazing how resourceful you are, truly. And I can see why you're that way because you've done it like you value the power of investing in yourself and for your business and because of that every time you've come up you've needed to come up with large things of money you're like yeah okay whatever i got this like how can i be resourceful and i really want to honor that thank you. you sure yeah so i remember when i got there what i got one of the biggest shifts in my life i did not at that point in time believe that i had value to give to people which is the craziest thing because the thing the one thing that he said was um at this event was is you've invested this much money in yourself you've went to this twenty five thousand dollar mastermind you've come to this event it was five thousand dollars you've done this education over here you've invested this into yourself you have all of that inside of you and you can now take that and put that into the marketplace and you can go charge those higher amounts. And you, when you're willing to pay higher amounts and invest in yourself, you can go out in there and charge higher amounts and, and invest and people will invest into you. If you're not willing to invest, there's, you'll have something inside of you that won't feel right asking for big money. Yeah. And that little thing, whoa, that little thing inside of you, if you don't feel comfortable or like, why would anyone spend that? And that's something that you yourself haven't invested in yourself. That's, that's, it's that subconscious block that can block us from ever having to experience that. It's a whole experience in yourself and just investing in yourself and what that brings. So um, we're going to put the on, how about I'll put it on our Facebook live and you put it on zoom. Yep. We are going to put our calendar for you guys where you can go on here and schedule a time that works best for you. We have a few spots open. Um, it's chatandholly.com forward slash schedule a call. Um, there you guys go for the live and then where are you going? I need the link. It's just schedule chatandholly.com okay. forward slash schedule right, call. Right. Jeez. <laughs> Do you want me to type it? I already had it in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I need here, people. So chatandholly.com slash schedule, schedule a call. call. And you have to and this is why we like to do this, too, right? right? We like to know. 
it really does make a difference when you're working with the people that light you up. And we want to know, like, is that you? it's a good fit on both sides, right? Not only like, are these a good people to cut, to help me with my vision? And for us, like, are these a good people that we want to help? Right. Cause I truly, I'm not joking around even a little bit. I hope you feel all the goosebumps that I'm shooting out on how passionate I am about helping people who really have something that are going to make an impact to the world. I am totally a stand for you to do that because the world needs you. Right. So Thank hop you, on the phone chatandholly.com, schedule a call. Let's talk about your vision. Let's talk about what it is that you're out to do in the world and how we can empower you to do that. I'm looking forward to it. I know Chad's looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and schedule that call right now. Do you have anything else? Yeah, I was like going to actually share the screen just kind of and show, you know, this will only work on Zoom so you won't get it on Facebook, but just kind of show the people on Zoom what you're going to, like where you're going. So okay. this... Oh, it's a quick video here. And then I was thinking about actually um, maybe playing some of the testimonials of some of the people that we worked with. You know, that's uh, been awesome in the past. Uh, improv, I just came up with that. So, um, so anyway, so yes, I'm ready and click here and then it should pop up and boom. And then you just put in this information. So there's a few questions. So when you're on the live, if you guys are, I can't see what you're doing. So uh, on the page, uh, you'll see a video from us as you scroll down below, you'll see some testimonials, some people that have worked with us in the past, uh, how their journey has been affected and the quantum impact that they've had in their life because of it. There's a short application before the call because we want to make sure that we have a bunch of information so we're not taking up the time of the call getting, getting information, in, yeah. right? We want to have this stuff unpacked so we can be very valuable and conscious of your time and our time and really make it impactful for you. So you just want to fill out this application here. Then after you fill out the application, it will lead you over to a calendar where you can then pick a call or pick a time that works best for you, schedule that. And then we will be email as it through email. Chad does that part. So I don't know what he does, but he sends you over the link somehow, whether it's email or chat, It'll or whoever he does it. The calendar. Oh, oh, and the calendar. So the account when you book with Calendarly, it e emails you over a link to a Zoom so that you can come on. Boom, you got it. And if for some reason you don't get it, just be in contact. I don't know. I set that up a while ago. This I know. is the good thing about having you set systems. That up. <laughs> and I know. And this is something that we work with as well is to help you get your systems and get processes together like that. Yes. So go ahead, book your call, chatandholly.com forward slash schedule a call. And so, and do we have any... I know there's a thing here. Stop. Any bonuses that we can do for oh, them? Yeah, throw it out there. To throw it out there. Um, I don't know. What do we got? You know, we have solo selling. You there. know what? We have a training. It's called <laughs> solo sell selling. How they did it. it it's going to help you build rapport and help you close more of your clients. And when you book a call, you'll get sell without selling. Go and click that link. It's in the chat on Zoom or it's mm. on in in the comments on Facebook. So you'll get that training and you'll get a call with us, which is going to be completely, completely. Yeah. That training is good for the record. When I learned this tip or this little trick on how you can speak to people. So your prospects are selling themselves rather than you being on a sales call, like having to sell them, which sucks, right? <laughs> that uh, it's, it's really effective. I actually learned this and that was my highest sales to date uh, has been a hundred thousand in sales in a month. And I show you how I was able to do that with the how to sell without selling. It was something that was previously sold for four ninety seven. So high five! You can totally give that to people when you get scheduled. So um, I think Chad is going to hear. Uh, they can hear it on the page. Yeah, totally. Really to... Hi, I'm a grit writer. So this is me. I originally came and to if you're Chad on Facebook. Quite. Just imagine Thank a really you. cool, <laughs> amazing person. She's got like, I originally came to Chad and sitting in her lap. Um, and when you go to schedule a call, you'll be able to see it yourself. That he didn't want to be. Uh, married anymore. And I have two young children, as you can see. I have a three-year-old and my little one-year-old All right, son. we're going to cut that off. So <laughs> you guys can go watch it on the page. <laughs> uh, so awesome. I really do appreciate everybody and just love you so much. Go book a call right now and let's jump on. And I'm just so excited to help inform your life. And so let's go see if we can do that. Talk to you guys soon. Uh,